Hi guys! Wow, you came back! I can't believe it! I thought my tutorials were horrible. Yeah, okay. So, let's see what is there to see. Oh, today's tutorial is gonna be fun! Yes, it's not. So, well, before learning to do fun stuff, we have to learn stupid stuff. I mean, no, 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 sorry. We have to learn smart stuff. Okay, with that out of the way, let's. Today's lesson is gonna be about data structures. Oops, remember comments? They're not gonna come in handy, so why did I say that? Okay, so you remember from the last lesson how we had to include IO stream, and that's ripping off the people who are smart and who made this for us. So, but we don't care about that because they they said okay. They said they gave their approval in that iostream document that's floating out somewhere there. So let's once again declare these using namespace std. Aha! I will use the namespace, the generic namespace. Okay, well, actually, a direct namespace std. Uh, another thing, some um, tutorials say to use uh, iostream.h that's not good iostream.h is a depre deprecated i think what's that word deprecated header which means it hasn't been updated in 10 years and it's outdated and another bad another bad thing if you know a bit more about programming or if you programmed in other languages iostream.h defines uh, all of its like commands like C out, C in, etc. in the global namespace. Well, actually in global, globally. So that's bad. You don't want to have that many global, <laughs> that many global operations. So uh, if you use iStream.h, you don't have to use it, put this line in, but I rec definitely recommend against, because all the updates that have been to C++ are all made on iStream. So, Finishing up that, we'll get into our int main, and once again, I can declare void here, which means no parameters, and my return type is int, and here, I'll just put this on another line so it's easier to see, here is my actual code. So I'm ready to code. Let's go. Let's uh, look at some of the data types. Data types in C++, there's a lot of them. There's uh, one, two, three. Okay, I still know how to count. I didn't re unlearn it from the last tutorial. Okay, so let's declare an integer. Uh, integer are the basic data types, and uh, yeah. So integers uh, come in two flavors: signed and unsigned. Now, the difference between signed and unsigned integers is that signed integers uh, are, can be both positive and negative, and unsigned integers are only negative. They're only negative. Uh, two. Uh, my bad. Unsigned integers are only positive. I'm having a mental disjunction there. So, uh, what is it called? A cerebral convolution. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, so unsigned integers are only positive, and 1, 5, 10, 15, 20 integral value of something, I don't know, whatever, they're only positive. We don't care about into uh, negative values when we put unsigned integers. But then there's problems with using unsigned integers if you want to express a negative value, because you're going to get some bullshit. Uh, yeah. So, signed integers. Uh, an int, if you declare an int using the keyword int, it's automatically going to be a signed integer. So, you, if you want to declare an unsigned integer, you have to specify it as being unsigned. So, int, uh, now we're giving an int name to our integer. So, I'm gonna, my name is going to be x. Keep your name short, please. Well, I mean, if it depends what the use is, but for now, you can keep them short. If you, if you want, there should be no this name refers to my integer 
and then you have to specify uh, for this name refers etc you understand that's pointless and that's wasted time so keep I, I keep mine short because to keep to save time and int x equals 5 you remember if you if you took math int x x is a variable that's pretty much what it is x is a variable it's a variable of type integer so it can only hold whole numbers and since it's a assigned variable by default we can put a negative and it will still be fine so let's declare um, a float uh, floats are cool float uh, y right a float can hold any it can hold a decimal that's cool I think decimals are cool as compor compared to fractions although I don't know that's a hard argument to state one way or another float y equals oops float y equals 10.5 so that's a float also you could put a uh, yf uh, well you could put append a suffix uh, f so if you wanted to make 10.5 a float you could put a suffix 10.5 f and it would be a float but that's used if you want to for example um, let's see well not exactly but if you want to uh, say take the square root or, or uh, use the modulus operator. This is the modulus operator. If you want to use the modulus operator on a really high number, say that number. Oops, so why do I have a zero in the front? Okay, now it's a really high number. You could uh, append an LL to it, which means a long, long. A long is a type of integer. It's, it's basically an integer, but it's a double long, so it's very long integer. And long, long, uh, now you can use the modulus operator otherwise this number might say too big for type long and then yeah it's bad so if you want to use those append an ll which means long long and you're set so and let's declare double z equals 52.35 sorry okay so these are basic definitions let's also include a character uh, character and let's put C car I don't know because it doesn't, doesn't matter you could use the Hungarian notation this is called and put C in front of it to denote that it's a character I don't, I don't care personally so I, I just pick some random name that could, pops into my mind and you could declare a character with using single uh, uh, what are these single quotes right and you could put a uh, character A, B, C, F, D, B, whatever. Only one though, <laughs> because a character character is the simplest data type and it's the smallest. It can only hold one letter. So a character is basically defined as by the ASCII symbol uh, table, and uh, it has an integer value. All of the characters. So A might have the value sixty. Three, I forget exactly, but you could say uh, car c car uh, equals a, and then you could say um, c out put on the c out s int. Uh, oh, sorry, c c car int. So that would display you the integer value in the ASCII table of the the c car. Uh, of character C care. So, uh, and let's 